Crystal. If there's Kingdom Hearts <laughs> Chain of Memories, then there's Recoded, and then there's then the, there's Kingdom Hearts the 2.58 remakes. days by times the past. I don't understand this because literally you had the most convenient way of playing all of Kingdom Hearts series now, Katie. You literally have no excuse. Yes, None. I do. No Time. That's right. The Expect me to go through area. the entirety of those games before the launch of Kingdom I'll Hearts 3? I don't even 3? have to play all the games because some of them you just need to watch the cutscenes. It's still going through it though. Surreal. No. Terrell's no. right. Like this isn't back in the day where Kingdom. Like if you wanted to have all the Kingdom Hearts games, you had to have a Game Boy Advance. You had to have a Nintendo 3DS. You had to have uh. a mobile cell phone that could play Kingdom Hearts coded. A PC internet well, browser. Think about how people felt when they started Kingdom Hearts 2 and they were like. Oh, I don't understand what's going on with Kingdom Hearts 2. Yeah, you, you, need to go get, you need to go buy a Game Boy Advance, though. <laughs> yeah, you you had to buy like you had to buy a smart refrigerator to play Kingdom Hearts Refreeze. They didn't exist back in 2006. <laughs> you had to buy, you had to buy a Kindle in order to buy Kingdom Hearts uh, book by book. Fuck you, Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I, 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 I like iPads, you fucker. No, I'm just, I, I do nah. like. Uh, I, I can't lie people. to the people. You need, to have a you, have, you need to have a razor phone taped up to a bird. No, you don't know what the fuck a razor phone is. Bro. You have to have that a Google. Is I'm, I'm ashamed. <laughs> Those oh, shit. Why did you even open your mouth, sir? You had to have Google Plus in order to play Kingdom Hearts. Google <laughs> Plus. Uh, hey, he says Google too. Plus when it got confirmed that's, that it died. <laughs> dead, dead too. Why are you bringing up all you can't these dead? Yeah, that's too soon, Google Plus is gone. Rip. Rest in peace. <laughs> I feel bad for the two to three people who used it. Yeah, who actually used Google Hangouts in that? No uh, one. Well, Google Hangouts, yeah, I'm for yeah, YouTube. Yeah, Google Hangouts is a different Sorry, we're, I mean, we're talking about Google Plus. That's a different uh, Why are we uh, using Discord? We should be using Google Hangout. No, no, no. We should be using <laughs> Skype. Like, it tells you, people. Yeah, yeah Skype. Because, Skype. Right, because I want to sound like... <laughs> <laughs> because I want to sound like a robot. Yeah. Well, I mean, you do that anyway, Don. Oh. oh, I mean, there was a part. There was a part. It's not a bad internet connection. I'm the one that need to get respect. What are you, scroll, bro? No, just play the fucking meme. Don't sit there trying to quote the song. <laughs> no, he's trying to not get hit by a copyright strike, man. Right. So he has to do his own we rendition. Have, it's a horrible one, mind you, but. It sounds like Terrell, he's choking on his words, memes. and I don't know what to do. Terrell, we have to do memes on acapella now. Uh, yeah, but I, you're not good at it. That's the problem. Also, Dang. I've never understood why Scary Face is a goddamn laser. That's an L. It's like a ridiculous. Yeah, it's basically That's Lair. It's like, it's like, welcome to the Scary Face. It's like, oh, God. Gen 2 was trying its hardest to have, like, Dragon Ball Z-looking attacks. Okay, that's the weirdest out of a sprite-based game? Yeah, remember how quick attack looks on this game? It's just a teleport. Well, I mean, that makes sense, though. It's quick. I feel like that's a fair assessment. I don't well, Scary all the Base. other games... Scary Base does not make any sense at all. And all the other games had, like, the Pokemon charging forward really fast. You mean the games that were 3D because of the different models? I still would have liked to teleport. I think uh, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee have the teleport. You know the problem with that is? Certain Pokemon would make no fucking sense like a Caterpie. Oh my god, I wear the Caterpie go. <laughs> <laughs> and you, I can't do I, I can't like, do the, like, I can't do the teleporting sound effect, but it's like, I'm right behind you. Oh god! No, 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 Terrell. Oh, more they were. More she met it. Not me. Wow, you fucking, you're garbage. You're garbage. I'm kind of sad you didn't include the little ear rape noise in that little segment. Right. Oh, Normally people put the like, that home run bat, like that little screech the home run bat makes in Super Smash Brothers. Yeah, you wanna know why? Because it's like the thing's hitting the pavement. Speaking of which, like, what is that noise exactly? Like, it's just the hype. It. Heightened up to like a really high pitch or something. It's like a high hitting glass shattering. It almost sounds like to me. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm thinking. But it's like it's like the moment of impact. Like it's nothing else, just the moment of impact. Mm-hmm. Cause a bat doesn't make that noise. That's the no. Oh no 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 it does not. Oh no, no one goes around thinking a bat makes that noise. Well, I guess maybe the bat. Maybe the bat was metal. I guess. That yeah, if it's a metal bat, we could metal. try it out. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the metal bat, man. 
Oh god. Metal bats hurt. Yeah, metal bats hurt your hand though, cause they have some like kickback when you hit them. How, how often have you used a metal bat? Though? Enough to know that. <laughs> <laughs> I have several questions, Tyrone. Tyrone, I'm so sad. You guys are acting like gym class doesn't exist. What the fuck is that? What kind of gym class what gives you freaking metal talking, bats? You're talking, to, you're talking to people who play video games. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, come on. I mean, we just had to go to elementary school at one what point. The fuck right? is, what the fuck is school? Good That's point. I, I believe in uh, teaching through doing. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I just imagine it's somebody going through life never. <laughs> they never. just. Just going head first into something learning instead of getting taught about it. Hey man, certain things in life you have to come in head first. Yeah, because they won't teach you it at school, so. Good point. Oh, okay, to take mm. you a different that's direction. True, that's true. Never mind. <laughs> what did you think he was gonna say? Well, considering I said head first, and depending on who who fought with what, depends on how bad the joke is. Headstrong, I take you off. The sad thing is I, I recognize that song because I watch a fucking AMVs with that song. Oh, the good old YouTube AMV days. Bruh, that's Dude, that thing is still ever. going why on today. Think, why do you think Linkin Park is the greatest band ever? <laughs> because it's mixed up with Naruto fight scenes. I was mixed with everybody. <laughs> yeah, like I, I was talking about this yesterday with Goblin Slayer. They actually had Linkin Park's song, Numb, be one of the songs during a very <gasps> gruesome wait, scene. Wait, wait, really? Yeah! <laughs> It man, was horrifying, you know, man! How are they gonna me with that scene and that I band? The greatest band. Jesus. So See, what's funny about that, I just watched <laughs> the first episode of Goblin Slayer today, and I actually didn't realize that, even though I'm very familiar with Linkin Park songs myself. Well, sir, you're about to find out, because that is Gar greatness. That oh, is oh actually, Evia, uh, since you're here, what are your thoughts on that first episode, man? Because that yeah, shit caught me off guard, and I was completely was, goddamn traumatized. It went serious 100 real quick. I real was yeah, it I was. Any of that. I mean, you look at the cover, you look at the poster for this show. It looks it's like it's going to be a typical adventure, and then you actually get to the episode in itself, and it just hits you like a goddamn truck like it did for Zombie I mean, Lang Zombie. I have seen yep. thrillers of this anime, but I wasn't expecting it to... I wasn't expecting it to I'm interested. Yeah, this end, it's like I've heard of you guys talk about it. Is it like what? What's it's style? very explicit. Let, let's like rated M kind of shenanigans. Wait, oh, okay, so wait, it's, it's no, see, like, okay. So think of it as this. So it's basically a Dark Souls anime in a nutshell. Even oh, though God. you come across oh, any. No. That seemed the most. That seemed easy, very easy to deal with. You're just gonna get fucked in the ass that quick. It's whoa. basically in a nutshell. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't spoil it. So is it? Wait, is it like Berserk? Have you guys have heard of Berserk? Yes, it, it, people are relating it to it. Berserk. If Berserk was to have gotten a good anime, yeah, Never but why? Not the 3D model one we got. Oh, uh, well, they had a 2D Berserk. No, no, no I'm referring out. to modern Berserk. Yeah, yeah, I think Berserk had a 1980s version that was pretty cool. But yeah, the new one for but some reason manga, is a 3D-ish oh kind of thing. The, the manga, oh, some, the manga's so messed up. That's what Kenji was saying the other day. Right? Yeah, and uh, the, the, well, of course, uh, people are saying the, the manga is more gruesome than the one in well, the anime, because obvious the reasons. Berserk. No, I was talking about Berserk's manga. Oh, that too, actually. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I have heard about the manga being... Right, the poor guts, Jesus. Poor eyes, dude. Fuck. I have heard the manga being more brutal. I'm talking about Gumba Slam here, by the way. Okay. But right. I've heard that they couldn't, um, you know, show a lot in in the anime episode because you had to, you know, showcase everything within within a span of about 22 minutes. So right. yeah, I'm still the surprised they brutal. showed they just... that scene. That... Yeah, yeah, I was not spoiling, saying that. So it, it's so awkward for you to I say. Mean, I, I mean, technically, he sort of did. <laughs> yeah, I but can't he, believe he, they show... he was quoting in a different, like, I meaning. can't believe they show insert spoiler here. Sp speaking of that, Terrell, have you seen it? No, I have not. Well, okay, well, God bless you. But uh, no, no, you, we want to watch it, it, right? 
No! I mean, I already seen it, but like... If you have the, like, most frail of hearts, you're definitely not gonna uh, wanna well, see I've it. Seen, I've seen... I've seen some messed up animes. Well, how messed uh, up could you have? I, I can't tolerate with it. I just it. talked about Berserk! That's not messed up. Berserk is messed up! I've never seen Berserk, so I have no idea what the hell that is. It's a it's show. Like, I'm saying, yeah, it's like, <laughs> this, <laughs> it takes place in like, the night's timeline, like medievals. Wait, and, uh, nights into dreams? Do do? Yeah, this guy named Guts, and he like, uh, he has this giant sword that was made basically for I killing this way, Rape is a common occurrence. In, oh yeah, in and rape happens a lot. Oh, Jesus Christ. And Oh, okay, then you'll definitely get into the, yeah, yeah, the other show I'm talking about perfectly fine. And his one of his best friends sells his whole soul to like the, the devil, and it, it gets very messed up. Which yeah, is why I'm kind of sad yeah, we never got to see it in a true modern anime style, man. Instead, we got that really cruddy CG esque anime show that they have. I yeah. never cared to watch Berserk personally, but I had people in my friends who always watched it, so even if I didn't want to know, you'll oh, know. Knew. Did you guys see, uh, oh, I was speaking, because I know you guys referenced JoJo. Did you guys see JoJo's, uh, Star Yeah. <laughs> Not that, yet. That is, that is some beautiful looking ass animation. The art style in JoJo is always, like, very unique. It's like they're, like, using, what type of medium are they using? What, good uh, one. anime? No, medium as in like, what, uh, are they using heavy inks? Are they using oil pastels? Are they using, well, what, what is it? That looks like heavy ink to me. Probably like heavy ink, uh, pens. I'm gonna go casually look at the Goblin Slayer manga while we're talking. Alright. Yeah, have fun with that. <laughs> yeah, have fun. <laughs> yeah, I'm already like, seen. I mean, I'm not like, wrong. Read, have fun with Are you it. gonna read the blurb? The I'm just gonna start reading the series right now. Yeah, well, just, blurb... just spoil everything for us. <laughs> I'm not yes, gonna spoil please. everything. I'm just gonna <laughs> casually. Hey, you, I I'm wanna. I'm gonna just stuff. casually know, reveal all I the. I know important. in the last part. I know in the last part, Terrell briefly explained Kingdom Hearts. I wanna explain each thing in the order in which it happened. Okay, that's you gotta. And I think we got enough time to do it. No, we don't. You don't we have eight minutes. eight minutes to explain you know I mean? the entirety of Kingdom Hearts. All right. <laughs> so, so KG, listen up since you haven't played any of the games. I mean, I haven't either. All right. So, so King 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 King. neither. I just pretend to understand. All right. Here and we go. I so just we... muted Tyrone's audio while he's speaking. So, guys, hey. uh, all he's talking about all this. Uh, you have anything else you want to bring up? <laughs> wow, you're trash. I, I don't know if he did it or not, so I, I don't can't. Think he didn't do it. I hope not. That'd be messed up. Do what? Oh, he never mind. He heard me. Okay, cool. Yeah, he, heard me. he didn't do it. <laughs> so Kingdom Hearts begins like this, right? Mm. Uh, there's Kingdom Hearts X, and what that basically is is like there's a bunch of kids. Yes, they're kids. They all have keyblades, and they were given these keyblades by these guys known as the. Uh, as, as the masters and the masters cool are yeah and the masters is um being led by this one guy who's basically in an organization 13 outfit like those coats that they wear there's but 13 again right right he's the leader of <laughs> we're gonna hear that number a lot <laughs> and, and there's what he does is that he basically tells the others about an upcoming war that's happening and they try to stop the war from happening but ironically it starts the war to happen because the giant keyblade war ends up happening all these kids that were in the keyblade war die yes they die um so we fast forward all the way some years forward and we are introduced to only three keyblade wielders ventus Aqua and Terra. Now, two of them are older than Ventus is. Aqua and Terra are the oldest ones, so they're allowed to take this thing known as the Mark of Masteries exam, which means they have to prove themselves when uh, trying to be masters of Keyblade wielders. Well, unfortunately, Xehanor wants to find a body. He tries to take over Ventus's body since he's young, and Xehanor wants to take over Ventus's body because Ventus is young and Xehanor's old and he's gonna die soon. So he tries to take over Ventus's body but fails because he's too hit. 
innocent and pure of light. So then he tries to take over Terra's body by corrupting him in the test for the Mark of Mastery's exam. Uh, Terra fails, but Aqua passes hers. Terra gets a little salty about that, so there's a little darkness in his heart, which makes him the perfect candidate for his body to be taken over by Xehanort. So the three end up going off into several different Disney lands. Xehanort ends up chasing after them, trying to start the Keyblade War. He fails, but Aqua ends up getting zapped into the realm of darkness where she remains. Ventus ends up fighting his dark half, known as Venetus. And he's a half that showed up because Xehanort tried to take over his body. Uh, when that ends up happening, however, uh, when so when Ventus and Venetus fight against each other, dark and light fight against each other, which makes the giant Keyblade, known as the X-Blade, which is necessary to unlock Kingdom Hearts. But it's a fake version because it doesn't have the seven lights and 13 darknesses. And because of that, though... Uh, Ventus almost dies in his fight with Venetus, but he ends up getting his heart touched by Sora, who's like, what, like one years old at this point? Anyway, after that ends up happening, we fast forward 10 years to where Sora, Kyrie, and Riku end up on Destiny Island. They ended up there because all of the worlds got separated because they all used to be one thanks to Kingdom Hearts. They end up getting overtaken by darkness because of Xehanort, and Kyrie's heart ends up going inside Sora's heart. And because that ends up happening, uh, basically, they the worlds get separated into darkness. Sora has to go find Kyrie and Riku, but along the way, he ends up bumping into Donald and Goofy. They go to all these different Disney worlds in order to find where King Mickey is, as well as Kyrie and Riku. Um, then, at that point, Riku slowly gives into the darkness. It's because of this that a heartless known as Zemnis is able to form and corrupt Riku. Sora and Riku end up fighting each other. Kyrie is shown to be in Sora's heart the whole time, but in order to get her out, he's got to kill himself. So Sora kills himself. Himself, but and when he kills himself he turns himself into a heartless and the other half turns into a nobody which we'll see later on um Kyrie turns him back to normal because she's one of the seven princesses of light um and one of the seven princesses of light they're basically the ones that can't turn into heartless when they get killed but they can make nobodies which is uh Namine, which is a girl that shows up in a later game then after that they try to close the door. Riku and Sora try to close the door because they find King Mickey and they try to close the door so that Kingdom Hearts can't get out. Unfortunately, that means Riku and Mickey have to be on the other side where they're stuck in the realm of darkness. Then we move forward to... What's the next game? Chain of Memories? What, of, uh, after the first game? Yeah. Yeah, Chain of Memories. Okay. So Sora, Donald, and Goofy are trapped in this realm of memories, and when they're trapped in the realm of memories, Namine basically states that she can restore their memories. That's but they have commentary. To... That's all I'm going to say. Yes, but they have to go through all of the uh, different levels that they went through before, That, but Sora can't remember them for some reason this time. So he travels through each of those worlds, and when he does, he ends up getting introduced to the Organization 13. It's at this point that we learn that since Sora died, he created a heartless and a nobody. The nobody's name is Roxas. And that's basically Sora with the, the letters rearranged and then an X in the middle. Um, because of this though, Roxas ends up waking up and he has memories of Sora, but another girl has memories of Sora and that's Shion. So then they have to go out to the different Disney worlds and, you know, gather a bunch of different hearts so that they can restore Kingdom Hearts. However, Shion has to die because she has some of Sora's memories. So she ends up dying to restore some of Sora's memories and Roxas knows that he's going to have to wake Sora up at some point. So that leads to the events of Kingdom Hearts 2. At Kingdom Hearts 2, Sora finally wakes up with all his memories restored thanks to Roxas and Shion from Kingdom Hearts 358 Days Over 2. When this happens, Sora and the others have to go find Mickey again, and they have to go fight uh, the main villain, which this time is a guy named Zimnus. Uh, no, it's named... Is it Zimnus? Yeah, it's Zimnus. Um, because when they killed Ansem, Ansem's a heartless name. When they killed him in the last game, he also had a nobody because he had a heartless and a nobody as well because Xehanort has a heartless and a nobody. And when they go to fight against all these Disney worlds, they end up meeting up with Riku again. And Riku absorbed a lot of the darkness, but this time he's got control of the darkness now. So the two were able to work together in order to fight off against uh, Zimnus and they, were, they killed him. Then after that, what ends up happening is when they kill the nobody and the heartless, it ends up bringing Xehanort back to life. Um, after that, 
they end up having to take the Mark of Masteries exam, but it was Sora and Riku who had to take it. Unfortunately, Xehanort messes with Sora while he's doing his Mark of Masteries exam because he places an X on Sora's outfit, thus trying to create a body vessel so that he could take over Sora's body. But Riku, Donald, and Goofy end up stopping him in the time in order to take over Sora's body. Sora unfortunately wasn't able to pass the Mark of Masteries exam, but Riku was able to pass it, but they need to gather more Keyblades, and that's why Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to happen. <laughs> Thank you. You stole my idea. Fuck you. Wow. I'm glad Thank I contributed you. something. Yay! Wow. Anyways, oh, son, where'd you find this one? <laughs> and that's Kingdom Hearts in a nutshell. Well, this Yikes. was the one. Wonderful commentary. But yeah, worry about it. Right I'm also, Gotham Player, ironically, is, is slightly Buster darker, the, but it, it's not like it's gory. I think the first episode is more for shock value than anything. 